Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket, and today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be showing you guys a brand new hidden feature in relation to the camera app and the gallery app for select Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now this feature should be available on any phone with One UI 4.1 and some people have reported that it's working on previous versions as well. To make sure you have it, all you have to do is click the link down below, which is gonna dump you to my website and then you're gonna scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you wanna click this one, link number one and link number two. So first do this guy, it's gonna dump you to the Galaxy Store. Make sure you update the photo editor to the latest version, and then go back and click link number two, and also make sure the Gallery app is up to date. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna to go to my Gallery application, okay? And I'm gonna go over to some nature photos, and this hidden trick only applies to photos of skies, mountains, bodies of water, and cities. So here's what's gonna happen. When you tap on a photo of a city, and you may have to try a couple times before it activates, but basically what happens is, here's a photo of a city. So if that photo is eligible for this feature, you are gonna see a button at the bottom that looks like a clock symbol. And basically what that button does is when you click it, it takes that photo and converts that photo into a beautiful 24 hour time-lapse video. When I say 24 hour, look at what's happening. So we there's, there's this is a regular photo taken off a city. When you tap the button, it turns that into a time-lapse video giving you a 24-hour effect of that city shot. Let's look at that one more time. It's a 12-second video. You can see we're getting that sunset. We're getting the nighttime. Everything is being adjusted properly in according to what is happening with the sky, okay? Then we got the daytime. Then it goes back and stops, and you can replay that. So that's one example I was able to get. It is funny because I also took a bunch of photos of the sky today, and I'm not getting that little button at the bottom. So it works if the picture perfectly matches Samsung's software algorithm, which I'm sure they're gonna, be, they're gonna be improving over time. And then there's another way to activate this feature. It basically happens automatically. So what you have to do is you launch your camera, you go to more, and you point at a city or the sky or a water. And what happens is you go into single take, and you take a single take photo for 15 seconds, okay? Uh, and then once that is complete, what happens is if I tap on a single take, here's an example I made. You can see that it's a single take if you see that icon, the circular icon on the bottom left. So if I tap on this guy, these are all the single take generations right here. You tap on it. And one of them is that 24 hour time lapse video. So if I tap on this one, uh, it automatically generated that time-lapse video out of that single take shot. So let me just play that video. You can see how it looks. Basically takes that sky and gives you a 24-hour time-lapse night and day and even adds a little bit of music in the background, okay? So fantastic little feature when it works. Because it is brand new, I think it's a little bit hard for the phone to recognize sometimes when it's supposed to activate, but I'm sure with subsequent updates, Samsung is gonna make this perfect. Now on top of that, there's one more thing I wanna show you guys, and that has to do with sharing a photo, again, relating to the gallery application. So there are some photos here that if they are eligible, and when you tap on the share button for that photo, at the bottom, something's gonna happen, and it's gonna give you some suggestions to make that photo better before you share it for an improvement. So in this case, I can tap here. That's gonna improve that photo, fix the lighting, and it's gonna get, get, it's gonna send a better version of that photo to the person. Or if I tap this, here is a rotation uh, suggestion. If I tap this, it rotates that photo, makes it straight before sending it. But of course, you can disable those options. So you can see if, they, if that's something you wanna do, okay? And then if you like it, you can share it after the enhancement. Now, not all photos are eligible. So if I bring this up, you're not going to see the button because this photo, according to the phone, is already perfect. So same with this guy, okay? So those are some features I want to show you guys. Again, if you don't see these, just go to the website and update gallery and the 
photo editor. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.